I'm going to go through the Rode Wireless Go Kit. So the two main components are the transmitter. It has a built-in mic at the top, as well as a 3.5 millimeter port in which you can insert a lavalier mic, also known as a lav mic or a lapel mic. It sends, it transmits sound signals, hence the name, to the other main component. That is the receiver. It receives signals from the transmitter wirelessly, hence the name. For this product, the receiver has a display. And this device, this component would be connected to a recording device, whether a smartphone or a camera. The next component is the pouch for the transmitter and receiver. To connect the receiver to a recording device, you use either the black black TRS to TRS cable or the black gray TRS to TRRS cable. So this cable would be used to connect to a recording device that has a dedicated input port like cameras. This cable here would be used to connect to a device that typically has a 3.5 millimeter port or some other port that sends or receives signals or only outputs signals. So basically smartphones or computers with the appropriate adapter. Just note that the black end of the cable, the TRS cable, will always go into the receiver. And then the other end goes into the recording device or the adapter that goes into the recording device. Next, there are the two USB cables. There are USB-C to USB-A. They're used for charging the transmitter and receiver independently or concurrently. It also comes with a splitter cable. Uh, you might want to use this cable if the recording device has only one 3.5 millimeter port and that is intended for input like a camera. So you put this male end splitter cable into the camera and then in these two adapters, female ports, you would put the cable of headphones to this one. It's a little, has a little engraving. And in this port, you would put the cable for the microphone if you want to record and listen at the same time. Now this cable might not work with all devices. Uh, as well, this kit includes a lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter for use with iOS devices and a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter for use with Android devices. If you want to record to a computer, the kit also includes 3.5 millimeter adapter to USB-A. To complete the kit, it also includes a fur windshield for use with the transmitter in noisy or windy environments. It's a bit tricky, but just pull back the fur windshield. You might notice the two pegs surrounding the built-in mic. There's two notches. I would suggest inserting one peg firmly and then pushing the other side of the fur windshield so that its peg goes into the other notch. Press firmly and then just hope for the best. Okay, there we go. It is precarious. I would recommend maybe just getting uh, the standalone lab mic that the lab has to loan. Use that because it includes a wind socket. 
And of course, the kit has a plastic container to carry everything. So to use the Rode Go, first turn on the transmitter and receiver. Power button for the transmitter is on the bottom. It's the company logo. Long press it for about two seconds. Then the power indicator light will turn on. For the receiver, the power button is on the top. Long press it for about two seconds. The display will show uh, the devices. So if the transmitter is turned on and paired with receiver, both of these inner care lights will be lit. The display shows the power levels for the receiver and transmitter. RX is the universal abbreviation for receivers. TX for transmitters. The display shows the volume meter. Um, I'm just going to tap the mic, and the volume meter responds accordingly. Ideally, you want to avoid the volume hitting the extreme. Once it gets to the edge into the red, the audio is going to be uncomfortably loud and susceptible to irreversible distortion. So if necessary, on the bottom of the receiver, there's a DB button. That's the toggle between or among three gain modes. Gain is a represent, representation of change to volume. So there's three settings as indicated by the triangle in the lower left corner of the display. There's low, medium, high. You would adjust the gain as needed depending on the volume of the speaker. All to avoid maxing out the volume. Ideally it should be maybe toward the middle or two-thirds of the way. In terms of wearing the mic, the placement, ideally it should be about maybe within one hand length from the person's mouth, no closer than one fist length. So you would either clip it onto maybe the sh their shirt collar, near the collarbone, maybe as low as the lapel. If you're using it with the lapel mic, you can put, clip the transmitter onto the person's belt or their waistband. That's what this clip is for, belt clip is for. And then clip the lapel mic higher up the torso. The receiver's got a belt clip as well. This clip is for inserting into the shoe mount of a camera. And that's really it for the Rode Wireless Go Kit.